India is endowed with unique geological features. The diverse features of rocks, minerals, fossils, soil and landscapes are the result of the Earth's evolution dates back to 4.57 billion years. Geological Survey of India has identified number of geological heritage sites and national geological monuments based on the unique geological features and aesthetic appeal for fostering conservation, education and promotion of geotourism. In the Arabian Sea, off the coast of Malpe in Udupi district of Karnataka, lie a set of four small islands called St. Mary's Islands. These structures, called columnar joints in geological parlance, are only natural fractures that approach the finest hexagonal honeycomb-like pattern. The geometrical form of the rock mosaic resembles the work of an expert sculptor. In the heart of Bengaluru, the capital city of Karnataka, lies a rock mass protruding as a hillock called Peninsular Nice, dated 2500 to 3,400 million years. The exposure at Lalbagh is one of the best exposures of this rock mass. About 180 kilometers from Bengaluru, at Mardi Halli in Chitra Durga district, lies a unique geological monument of pillow lava. Pillow lavas are formed when hot molten lava erupts under seawater and solidifies in the form of pillow-shaped structures. In fact, pillow lava at Mardi Halli is regarded as one of the best of its kind in the world. Close to the world's most famous Kolar gold field houses an inimitable geological monument. The pyroclastic rocks a welded agglomerate. The term pyroclastic literally means broken by fire. Pyroclastic rocks have a rock matrix bounded by molten lava ejected during volcanic eruptions. By the side of the road leading to the world's famous temple, Tirupati Tirumala Devasthanam on Tirumala Hills, sits the geological monument Eparchian Unconformity. Eparchian Unconformity is a stratigraphic feature representing a time gap of 800 million years between two subsequent rock units. The oldest Archaean Granite and the newer Proterozoic Nagari Quartzite. Tirumala Hills also draw tourists for the matchless geological surprise. The natural arch, immaculately crafted by nature through intensified climatic settings and corrosion of quartzite rocks. Estimated geological age of this rock bridge is about 1600 million years. On the top of St. Thomas Mount in Chennai, capital city of Tamil Nadu, locates Charnokite, a typical exposure of quartz, feldspar, hypersthene rock, and is believed to have an important bearing in elucidating primordial crustal evolution of the Earth. Along the Alathur Arialur Road in Perambulu district contours a spectacular stretch, the Karai Badlands, world's paramount marine Cretaceous section belonging to marine sediments of Kaveri Basin. The Badlands topography with a series of natural conical hillocks is heaven 
for fossil anthology. Fossil Wood Geopark at Satanur village contains a large trunk of petrified tree measuring over 18 meters in length, believed to be over 120 million years old. This fossil wood reflects geological evidence of presence of sea here. However, the local panchayat is managing the geo-heritage site and fostering geotourism, creating a sustainable economy and community development. On the south coast of Kerala, about 55 kilometers north of Tiruvananthapuram ascends with its grandeur, edging the Arabian Sea, the gorgeous Varkala Cliff. The cliff preserves the fragile sedimentary rocks, which include sandstone, variegated clays and carbonaceous clays formed 23 million to 5 million years ago. Lonar in Buldana district of Maharashtra has a circular crater suspected to have developed due to impact of a large meteorite. Today, Lonar Lake is a saline soda lake which is famous for being the largest basaltic impact crater in the world. Jaisalmer district of Rajasthan is a wonder place for tourists because of the great Thar Desert. Nonetheless, Jaisalmer also has geological marvels. The rare exposure of 180 million years old fossil wood logs. These petrified woods carry signature of the luxuriant forests in a warm and humid climate bordering the sea during the lower Jurassic age. There are many other rich geo-heritage sites of great importance spreading across the state of Rajasthan. Sendra granite, a plutonic igneous rock about 900 million years old is a unique example of nature's capacity as a sculptor. Apparently, wind and water acting over thousands of years have sculpted the granite into spectacular structures. Bar conglomerate composed of pebbles of quartzite and rare granite gneiss. Conglomerates are important aids in subdividing geological history based on sedimentary breaks. At the foothill of the picturesque Marangar Fort in Jodhpur lies the Malani Igneous Suit Contact. It marks the last phase of igneous activity of Precambrian age in the Indian subcontinent. Welded tooth at the Jodhpur Fort Hill area occurs within the terrace-like weathered Malani Volcanics. Welded tooth is a product of emanations that spurted out from volcanic vents. Stromatolite Park in Udaipur district is the largest and richest deposit of phosphorite associated with stromatolite. It is among the rare sites preserving evidences of early life on the earth. In the Markand Valley of Sirmur district, Himachal Pradesh houses Sivalik Fossil Park. Showcasing rich collections of vertebrate fossils from Sivalik that lived in the area about 2.5 million years ago. Sikkim situated in the northeast of India, has a geo-heritage site at Mamle near Navchi. The geo-heritage site 
exposes litho units of Baksa formation of Pre-Cambrian era. Sundarban lies in the Bay of Bengal, encompassing one-third of Indian territory and two-third of Bangladesh, is the largest river delta in the world. Sundarban is also marked as the largest estuarine mangrove forest in the world. The region is formed solely by quaternary sediments. The mangrove forest of Sundarban is home to one of India's most iconic wildlife species, the Royal Bengal Tiger. Nestled in the Bay of Bengal, off the eastern coast of India, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, an Indian archipelago is a union territory of India. Andaman is one of the few places in the world where mud volcanoes are found. Mud volcanoes are small muddy craters created by natural gases emitted by decaying organic matter underneath the ground that push the mud upward. Limestone caves at Maratang in Andaman Island is one of the most featured destinations for tourists. Limestone is essentially a sedimentary rock originally formed at the bottom of the sea over millions of years of gradual deposits and pushed above sea level due to various geological processes. Ross and Smith Islands, known as the twin islands of the Andaman and Nicobar group of islands. These two islands are joined by a natural sandbar. During the low tide, one can walk from one island to the other. Indeed, a geological marvel. Today, India is catching up with the global movements of geotourism and efficaciously unfurling the unturned pages of Earth's history.